Hello, I'm Tinman432, and I'm gonna get back to playing Mega Man X2, like like the usual schedule. So, our next boss is uh, Magnus Centipede in the central computer area. So we're gonna take him on. Uh, this level is a stealth level, really, and um, there's a lot of stealth elements involved, not getting caught, being really fast. Um, so there's those spotlights there we don't want to get caught by. And if we would happen to get caught, the alarms would go off and those blocks on the ceiling would fall down. And that weird floor thing would, yeah, like that, would fall. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna try to redo that. I didn't want that block at the end to fall because we need that to get an item. And I did it again. Uh, one more try. Try. Yeah. Luckily, all we have to do is not get caught by that spotlight for this block to stay here, and they come back, so that's good for me. So that block will leave, and then it'll stack up over there with other blocks, but we'll get to that. So there's this heart tank up here. Switch back to Mega Man. And then those are stacked up. Like that. Now it's probably a better idea to wait so what I just did doesn't happen to you. But, uh, I just went a little bit quickly. A little bit too fast. Anyway, there's this trap here, and you're gonna want to shoot that, because you can destroy the purple blocks. Uh, or you can jump like that. And these blocks will stack together, and I don't want to get crushed again. I always thought the, the uh, blocks looked like little faces, but I don't, I don't know. That's what I saw, so... There was that. I think that was the fully charged uh, silk shot. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna want to take out our fully charged speed burner and dash our way over there to get this sub tank. So there we go. And now we have a really cool mini boss coming up that really um, shows the Super Nintendo's 3D ability. So there's that 3D holographic sword thing. Uh, it looks pretty cool, I think, but anyway, it's, it only has a few attacks. Uh, it'll slash at you or stab you, but uh, they're pretty easy to... It only has like two attacks, really, I think. And they're pretty easy to learn. One while they're... Well, where they'll just kind of swing randomly and then go for a round shot or slice. I don't know. I don't know. Sword talk. But it's it'll go down pretty not quickly, but it'll, it'll you it'll go down. Then here, there's these spotlights that we're gonna want to avoid. <laughs> totally avoided it. Anyway, these blocks that are falling down turn into cement really quickly, and they go faster because they, they spotted me in the spotlight. Anyway, you might have seen that little laser tracker thing that looks like it stored data or something. And if that caught me, um, I'll say it later. But anyway, here's Surges. Surge is... I don't know. I am Surges, and I cannot allow you to stop the unification. It is for the good of all. Okay. So here's Surges, kind of unexpected, um, but he is the last last mini boss. Yeah, the last um, that mini boss that has zero parts. Anyway, but he's pretty pretty uh, hard, and he takes forever to beat. So when he's on his little pad thing, sometimes his shield will glow or something. His shield will pop up. And then he drops these mines on the ground. They don't do too much damage, but still. They're mines. So watch out. Sometimes I just jump on them so I have more room. If I can take the damage. So. Think strategically. Sometimes he'll like, trap you against a wall and then it's hard to get out. And sometimes he just keeps blocking. With his shield thing. But we almost got him. Just two more hits. One more hit now. Come on. 
Just stand still for a while. <laughs> yeah, and, and then he does this sometimes when you just try to land one shot on him, and then he just uses his shield thing. Now just for a precaution, I'm gonna use my sub tank. Although I don't think I need it right now. But there we go, we got it. Whoa, that looked weird. You have merely delayed the inevitable. We will meet again. That's zero part number one. Yay. So now we have all the parts for zero. So we can rebuild him when we get back to the hunter base. So in here is this the other mini boss that actually comes with the stage. But if I had been caught by that scanner thing, the one in the room with the falling stuff, um, it would have sent in data that made this boss a little bit harder. I mean, I, li I like it harder, but I do like a lot. <laughs> I like it the harder way. Because it's more of a challenge, other than me just jumping like that. Although it's not really a challenge at all. But it just jumps around shooting lasers at you. Like every enemy in Mega Man. And you just gotta jump over the lasers or dash under the lasers. And that's it. You just have to be persistent. And then you'll eventually get him. Alright, so let's grab the health and then go to Magnus Centipede. Now this area automatically uh, goes off the alarm. So, don't be confused. And now this block up here will try to push us down the... Push us down... There. Let's jump over it. And then dash over here. And then go over here and then try not to get... Pushed by that. And that looked cool while I was going through the door. Anyway, Magnus Centipede, his weakness is the silk shot. <sighs> So take out your silk shot. Or I can just fight him with the X Buster, I guess. But anyway, he'll s his, uh, the silk shot will cut off his tail, and then um, and then he loses his one attack. I don't I don't know what attack he does with his tail. I forgot, but yeah, he does some attack with that. And now, since the silk shot goes in all four directions, uh, when he's up in the corner, we can just stand there. And then it'll get him automatically. I really hope this is the silk shot, because I don't want to get the name. Alright, so we'll keep teleporting around. And you'll keep silk shotting him. Hopefully not missing. I say just stand closer to him and fire the opposite of him when he's on the ceiling. Or that, when he jumps into you, he just might randomly hit it. So you want to be quick because sometimes he'll get scared and teleport away real quickly. Okay. But I say if you have the weakness, he's a pretty easy boss. So let's do one more hit. There we go. Magnus and that we have all the zero parts and let's go to talk to Dr. Kane. I can try to reactivate zero to help but I need more time before you can reinstall his control chip. Try to slow them down. Good luck. Alright so we've got zero uh, in progress of being built but let's go to our last Maverick stage. Uh, Crystal Snap. I'll just give you a minute to enjoy the music. Awesome, isn't it? Anyway, we're gonna get in this ride armor and then go down here. So when you take the you're gonna wanna take that, jump over. Whew, first time. Um so you're gonna dash over in the ride armor, jump out, use the 
group strike thing. I don't remember. Um, but it's gonna pull you toward the wall, and then you'll be good to go. And then the red armor will come back over here for some reason. So now you're gonna go down here, break this so you can get through. And then there's this crystal that'll fall down. And I went the wrong way. I should have went in the other hole. <sighs> Try it again. There we go. Slid right past. So we're gonna get back in the right armor because it broke that wall that was keeping it in there. Go forward. And then... Uh, up here to the side, if there was still any of those secret mini-bosses left, there'd be one up there. But we don't have any left, because we just beat them all. And here, this whole bunch of crystals will shatter. It's pretty cool, actually, like that. Boop, boop, boop. Extra life. We should grab it. Who knows when you'll need an extra life. In a video game. But then there's this mini-boss here. Pretty tricky mini-boss. But if you charge up your double shots, right, should be done fairly quickly. So there's that laser that will shoot around bouncy lasers. And then there's the eyeball inside of the crystal that we want to get. I think it's defenseless, other than that crystal it's in. But I don't know. And then uh, when it's mostly dead, it, a second one will come out to fight. And then, yeah, that's it. So we're gonna race this thing down, grab this, and then there it goes, down there. So now we're gonna fall into this pit and die. Kidding. Uh, there's this uh, doctor-like capsule down here. Last one for us, other than the, uh, the bonus one at the end of this. Oh, wait, what? Um, so we're gonna get this, and it gives us the helmet. And hey, there's an extra life over there. How can I get it? I don't know. How about get the helmet first? So, I don't think there's too many features for this, or too many places where you can use it, but it looks cool, and it completes the collection. So, it, it shows you, like, hidden stuff. Um, kind of good if you haven't found any of the other upgrades yet. So we're gonna go up here. If you take out your scanner while you're up here, uh, it'll it'll sense something, and it's that silk shot thing. Uh, it'll it'll get you a whole bunch of weapon energy. I don't know why they put that there. I don't know why they put the health thing there, but they're pretty satisfying to find. So we're gonna wanna get chased by that, and then run, and run, and run, and run. <laughs> that was close. So, now that that's out of the way, let's go up and finish this stage. Come on. Oh, or, or jump, 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 jump. Jump, jump, jump. Okay. So now we're in the boss room. Crystal Snail is in here, and uh, his weakness is the magnet mine, obviously. Crystal Snail likes to slow down time, which can be bad for me when I'm not very eager. So, um, you don't really have to watch it once you get the strategy down, because uh, I know sometimes people on the internet get impatient with the videos. But anyway, so you're going to take out the Magnet Mine, he's going to slow down time, he's going to come out, you shoot him with the Magnet Mine and he pops out of his shell. Sometimes you can do this twice, but sometimes not. Like that. Sometimes it'll be facing that way, and you can't hit his shell. He's invulnerable. When his shell is facing you, and then... So time is currently slowed down. So... A little bit harder. Only a little bit. I mean, it's not like he has super fast attacks. So let's keep trying at this. So now he's out. Let's see if we can hit him again. Oh, uh, maybe not. So, time slow abilities requires patience for the player. So, maybe you can hit him twice sometimes, and maybe not, but there we go, last crystal snail. Whoa, that took a few. That took about a minute. 
But let's continue on. Okay, I don't remember the weapon that we get from Crystal Sail, but we are looking cool in our full armor thing. So we got the Crystal Hunter, and it can freeze enemies inside of crystals. Oh, Dr. Kane, hi. Mega Man X, I've located the X-Hunter's base. And I kind of dropped the controller there. So, um, yeah. It's at grid location zero, zero. That's right at the North Pole. Roger, but Dr. Kane, I'm on my way. It will take some more time to reactivate zero. Slow them down, Mega Man X. Okay then, so next time we'll head to the X-Hunter base. I'd like to thank you for like and subscribe, peace, and sheep.